Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're having a kick-ass day. So this video, we're just gonna do some yard work. It's been pretty humid lately and I haven't been outside a lot. So, I mean, this morning is just gorgeous outside. Just gorgeous. So let's get into some yard work. You know, <clears throat> I woke up, woke up this morning and I was like, where's the sun? And then it dawned on me. Hey, you, do you like mowing the lawn? I love mowing the lawn. When I first started mowing the lawn, you know, 10, 12 years old, we was Paul. All we had was a lawnmower that we couldn't adjust the height on. Like, unless you undid the wheels every time. It sucked. All right, so we got the front yard mowed. We got, you know, curve stripes. We got some zigzags. And, you know, just the old regular straight up stripe action. So we need to get some water down. As you can see, it's got that, that haze to it, that light haze. She's getting crispy, folks. The mistress needs a drink. She's thirsty. All right, so one of my, uh, one of my last videos, I, uh, you know, did the lawn on drugs, right? Well, that was just the bi-weekly spoon feeding rate, right? So that was at least three weeks ago now, three weeks ago. And now the maximum rate of this equal, equalizer product is one pound per thousand. One pound of product per thousand is the maximum recommended rate. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, we got our, our easy flow container mixed up with a pound of the equalizer product. Now we're gonna get hooked up to the system. All right, see the product in there? Like I said, I like to, you know, put this jet in here. This is the most product I've ever put in this. So we're gonna see if this, uh, you know, if it's totally water soluble now for the easy flow or not. Like I said in the previous video, link to the Easy Flow down before, just the affiliate link. Um, I think if 10 people buy them, I get like $10 or something like that. I don't know. So here we are. It's going to be filled up. We're going to crank this up now. Spilled a tiny bit, but we're good. So now the product, like I said in previous videos, it's running uh, the most concentrated uh, at first. Sprinklers have been adjusted already. Uh, this is where I put them in the previous spot. So we got our mow done, sprinklers are set, now it's on. So it's gonna take at least 20 minutes uh, for that cycle to run, to run all the product through the Easy Flow system. But because our mistress needs water, she's thirsty, we're gonna get her nice and wet. We're gonna keep the sprinkler running for like an hour. All right, in the backyard now, um, we get the backyard mode. You know, do you, do you have any silly or funny lawn mowing stories? One, one that I remember is, um, I, I don't remember how old I was, but uh, my parents had just bought a new house and it was like a few uh, houses away. So it was fall time, the, the, the nights were getting shorter and the lawn needed to be mowed. Um, so it was after school and it was getting dark. It was taking me forever because there was tons of leaves. So, so what I had to do was 
I grabbed uh, this battery powered lantern and you could turn it to like 180 degrees. I like mounted it with like a leash on the front of the mower and I melted the leash, you know, the plastic nylon stuff. Um, but hey, I mowed in the dark, I added my own light and I got the job done. Why don't you guys leave a comment down below? You got any silly stories? Come on, Kendra. Damn dogs. Here's a tip for you. Did you know that, um, you know, you walk across your grass and you, you know, if you leave footprints in it, if they're, if they're still there 30 minutes later, you definitely need water. So, needs water. Let's get a mode. The whole front yard and the side yard. One bag. Not growing very much. We need some water. We're on a journey, looking back on the things that we've taken for granted, but feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now. Okay, so in the backyard, you can obviously tell that we need some water too. She's thirsty, am I right? So not much rain in the future forecast. I'm gonna start watering back here. I'm not gonna put any fertilizer back here. Front's different. That's getting the equalizer back is not. The backyard's only been getting the Lawn Bright products uh, for most of the season. I have not done any weed treatments in the backyard other than the weed wipeout that um, was sent by Lawn Bright. So you can see underneath the trampoline, you know, this is where they did the dormant seating and it basically sits in the shade all day. So it looks good for that. But you know, we have weeds in there and there's weeds, there's weeds out here. There's a little bit of clover, some clover coming in. Um, weeds, creeping, or wild violet, creeping Charlie. Uh, had some issues uh, originally. Even had some uh, big thistles back here, but I just whacked this down with that uh, Ryobi weed trimmer uh, that I'm working with now. So putting that the guy to the test. Hey, just want to uh, thank all the new subscribers. Welcome you aboard to the Jason G hashtag yard guy channel. It's a lot of fun here. If you're new here, go ahead, leave a comment down below. See, if you have big brown patches like this, it's probably just dormant, especially when the rest of the yard is looking, you know, like it needs water. Even the dahlias look like they could use a drink. How about my edge game though, huh? Way better than previous, right? You may be asking yourself, you know, Jason, what's up with all these huge ass weeds. I got plans for them. You guys see weeds. I see training opportunity. All right, so we put the full pound rate in there and then we had some, we had some issues. So I checked it about halfway through and it hadn't fully dissolved yet. So uh, I shook it up a little bit and then, you know, ran it for another 30 minutes. So. It's been, an, it's been an hour now, check it out. All right, it looks better now. Um, before it was still blue, 
Um, so I knew all of it hadn't been dissolved. So it looks like it looks like we're good now. So I'm just gonna dump some of this out and then add more product. All right, I got the next batch mixed up. Once again, this is the triple 18, the equalizer. Um, got the sprinklers moved, adjusted. You know, work smarter, not harder, right? So I just have to, if I start my sprinklers on one end, I go to the opposite end for the next zone, and then I come back to the middle, and then I only have to adjust my sprinklers once. Work smarter, not harder, right? All right, so I'm gonna let this run for an hour. I'll check it in a half an hour, see how the fertilizer is looking in the SureFlow, uh, or the EasyFlow uh, canister. Um, but yeah, you can tell it needs water. So we're gonna give it some water. Take a long look at this. Take a long, take a, take a, take a thick look at this, long, hard, thick. Take a thick, I don't know, whatever. Take a, take a good look at the yard, no. At the yard, not me. Take a good look, it's gonna be looking better. I mean, I'm already looking better. All right, so we got the last batch, the last batch of the triple 18 equalizer running through the sprinkler system now. So we're gonna let this run for uh, a good hour, maybe two hours and get that good and watered in. And we'll, uh, I'm gonna keep watering it now. 